5.30 in the morning. The employees of Fuhrmann's produce have already been working for three hours. Fruit has to be delivered fast to the customers, hotels and restaurants in Berlin. Marcus Fuhrmann is expected to provide especially high quality wares, but at low price. It bothers him that food isn't properly valued in Germany. It's different in France and Italy. People there are more concerned with their foodstuffs than with their cars. But we Germans, I don't know why, pay more attention to our cars than to our food. Fuhrmann says the price war is ruining many businesses in the food sector, especially farmers who produce pigs or milk. For more than a year now, they've had to sell at very low prices, resulting in about 30% lower revenues. Why are prices so low? In 2015, Germany's strict milk quota was repealed. Now, farmers could produce as much as they wanted to and they did so to sell their milk on the world market, for example, to China. But others export to China too, for example, New Zealand farmers. Since consumption in China stagnated, many German farmers ended up with surplus. They've had to lower the price to sell their milk at all. Things are similar with pork. Here, the European Union's embargo against Russia robbed the farmers of a major market. The result at home, an oversupply and falling prices. The Farmers Association sounded the alarm. Our dairy farmers and pig farmers are taking losses, so we can only appeal to the retail food markets to act responsibly. After all, we want to maintain our domestic agricultural sector. The farmers say supermarkets and food stores should demand higher prices and pay farmers more. Farmers' incomes have consistently shrunk over the years. As a comparison, in 1970, farmers earned almost half of everything spent on dairy products. According to the last survey, they only get a quarter now. Retailers say price pressure and competition is tough on them too. Their fixed costs don't change no matter what the wholesale prices are. We have our own in-house expenses. Logistics, energy costs for cooling products that have to be kept fresh. And we have our marketing costs. And of course, retailing companies also have the right to make a profit. So that has to go into the calculation too. The fruit dealer Fuhrmann has had relatively stable prices for years. This morning, his last delivery wagon with fruit and vegetables goes to the luxury hotel Adlon. Foreman has managed to keep this very demanding customer for 15 years now, but mainly because he continues to provide premium quality, no matter what.